Okay, here's something else you can do with fourths and fifths, which I adore. Um, so, how many of you guys have heard of Lydian? <laughs> how many of you guys have heard of Super Lydian? Okay, yeah. Um, how many of you guys have heard of Super Ultra Hyper Mega Meta Lydian? <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, so you know, so okay. So if, if we put Lydian in, in thirds, like this. Uh, this is a familiar sound, it's nice. It's strong, um, and I'll tell you why, because it's got fifth here, a fifth here, a fifth here, and a fifth here. It's a really strong sound. It nicely, nicely fits together. Um, now, in your jazz textbooks, you may have read that Elidian ends there, and it begins again, like this. Um, I disagree with this, uh, this uh, premise, and uh, I've decided that um, it, it keeps going, right? So, um, this is, C, this is C, C major seven. This is D major seven, right? Um, now, I do believe there is a C sharp in this voicing, and it's a C major 7 chord, but I also believe that it sounds better than this. This. Sounds better than that. This is killing, man. This sounds... This, this sounds great, you know. Um, so, th th thus, the Super Lydian um, uh, thing is born. So, you can keep going, man. It, no one told you to stop, really, other than all of your teachers. So... <laughs> This is a this is a big chord, man. Thank you. Yeah, um, and and so yeah, so so check that out. That's a that's a super Lydian voicing. And I tell you what's cool, when you play super Lydian voicing, and then you play like a quartal voicing, but with the same note on the top, like this, for example. So this is like a that's a drastic change of color, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think that and that is really kind of surprising. I I, en I enjoy this. You know, that's cool. Um, play with fifths and fourths, guys, seriously, because they, uh, they will herald no end of um, and, uh, and, and good, good things. So uh, that's something.